Hey guys, we got the 2000 Volkswagen Jetta MK4 2.0 engine. Today we're going to go over the fix for the P1584 or 82 fault P1582. Um, so, seen a lot of videos on YouTube where they're removing the throttle body and doing a clean and resetting the ECU using the battery or their OBD2 scan tool. So I went ahead and did that a few times. It did not fix my problem. So what I ended up doing was going on eBay and spending about 70 bucks. Actually, I seen them as low as $55. I recently just swapped out my throttle body with the Chinese throttle body, which is Volkswagen is sourcing their parts out to. I just found out a lot of their parts are being sourced to China for uh, remanufacturing and of the new, new parts and it's a decent part it's been over a year now i've had this throttle body and it's worked fine so what we're going to do in the next segment is tear down the old throttle body the original oem equipment and see if we can find anything that caused that p1582 fault um just another thing before i end this segment um i didn't have to use any special volkswagen scanners or or a what are those VDC tools um, that they're using to relearn the throttle body? Um, I just re basically all I did was swap out the throttle bodies, um, reset the battery, and um, the computer relearned the throttle body, and it's been fine. No codes have came back in over a year now. So I would say this is a legitimate fix for that 1582 $50 fix, $60 fix. Okay, here we are. We're going to find out the reason why we have a 1582 fault. I'm going to do a complete teardown of this throttle body, or at least until we figure out what is causing the 1582 fault with the uh, in relation to the ECU, the computer for the vehicle. So <clears throat> just a couple things to think about, different variables. This thing gets hot. It's water-cooled. Um, this looks like some type of... Uh, Something for the EGR system or a PCV valve uh, where it recirculates some exhaust exhaust back into the throttle body. Cooling system, throttling cable, the butterfly venturi, and the motor for the uh, it's the uh, auto adjust for the idle. So what we're going to do is take out these bolts, one, two, three, four, five, six bolts, and we're going to go from there. Okay, so I decided I'm not going to take it apart. Decided that moisture or something got in here because you can see the rust, but there's a circuit board behind this shaft that this butterfly is connected to and these gears and spring, spring plate, and there's some brushes that are resting on a circuit board and I believe what's going on there is it's sending the ECU feedback signals of the position that the throttle body's in. So when I push down on a throttle body, see how it rotates? It's rotating and sending back a position. Now the motor here, this guy, I, be I believe when the, from what I'm reading, is that when the engine heats up, it's like a, the old style electronic chokes on the carburetor, it rotates this gear, slowly opening the throttle body, adjusting the RPM idle speed on the vehicle, in the, in the engine. So and a couple of things that could happen, water, moisture got in here, burned out the coils in the motor, the feedback, something in the feedback with the sensor, maybe there was coolant that got in here, um, it overheated and it, the motor burnt out and it, and it doesn't or there's a, a false feedback signal that the ECU it's maybe out of value or um, it exceeds some type of signal that the ECU cannot relate to or doesn't recognize and it's throwing the fault inside the throttle body. So what I've come about down to is Replace the throttle body. It was 60, 55, $65 shipped, and um, it took the P52 
a uh, P1582 fault away and like I said it's been a year so it, not only is this video that I'm going to do is a fix for the 1582 but it's also a one year follow up and um, tear down and look at throttle body. And like I said, back here is the position sensor or encoder, if you want to say, and the motor and the gears. So if anyone would like to share with the viewers on how this thing works, and I mean, maybe I'm totally wrong. Um, but like I said, I didn't need a VAG. I didn't need a computer. I think it's called a VAGCOM. Uh, it's a proprietary uh, software that Volkswagen uses to relearn the throttle bodies and to communicate to talk to these units and these devices um, If you are familiar with the equipment uh, write down in the comments, let us know how how this stuff works um, help us out and uh, Yeah, so I'm just helping you guys out and letting you know that's what fixed my problem um, and like I said if you enjoy this video if it helps you out and you replace your throttle body and the code went away um, let me know. We'll work together to get a troubleshoot and uh, get, troubleshoot your problem, and we'll go from there. Uh, thanks for watching.